There's a hit of a fish. Oh, I didn't get a very good hook set on him, so I'm gonna lose this guy. Stay down there. He feels pretty good. I might have him foul hook too. I don't know. Who knows? Ah, I got him. Oh yeah. Ah, I got him. Nice pass. Welcome back to Fishing with Vance. It is a beautiful, beautiful morning here in Pennsylvania. Um, I'm running a little late to get to the lake. I slept in, of course, but uh, it's just a gorgeous morning. The water is like glass. So I'm going to get out there and see if I can't catch a few bass. Run a little late. I just brought uh, you know, three or four rods today. Um, typically this time of year, we catch a lot of fish on tubes which I love to do, so I'm gonna focus on um, throwing that bleeding tube around a lot today and see if I can't catch them on tubes. Got the Pelican Bass Raider here, still up on the trailer, so I need to quit talking and get this thing unloaded and get out on the water. So, come along with me this morning, let's see how many we can get. Thanks for joining me today on FishingWithVance.com. I'm out on the water, that didn't take long. Quick launch. Uh, before I blast away from the launch area here, I thought I'd <clears throat> throw a few. I still have on this uh, this uh, BX, it's Rapala, the BX Minnow 9. <clears throat> it's a little bit bigger of a jointed Rapala, basically. And um, it caught a few fish the other day. Uh, I found this thing in my tackle box, I didn't even know what I had. And um, so I'll leave it on there. I caught a few fish with it the other day. Um, thought I should give it a try since I looked up to see what the heck it was. I don't even know when I remember getting it, to be honest. And um, this thing's like a $12 lure. So I don't, <laughs> not that uh, expensive lures catch more fish than cheaper lures, but I'll give it a shot. It caught a few fish the other day. I like that it only runs about, you know, maybe about a foot or two under the under the surface, and um, doesn't get hung up on too many weeds. It has nice action. Um, so I'll throw that till that. I'll throw this till that sun pops over top of those trees. <clears throat> See somebody littered. Uh, see a can out there, which is always thrilling. Um, I, I just will never understand why people litter. I'll pick that up on the way in, but I mean, here it is, right over here. We're trying to, you know, we have a lake to fish at, and I don't know why I can't find a garbage can or put it in your vehicle till you get home or whatever it is. All right, so let's keep it pushing. Not much time before that sun comes up over the trees. So let's, uh, let's move on. But by myself today, the catter's working, and uh, Penner's on vacation, so by myself today and uh, it's just a gorgeous morning it got a little cooler last night it's uh, it got down into the it's been super hot here in PA I'm sure wherever you are it's been it's been a hot dry summer up for us here in Western PA which is fine it's summertime I'm not gonna complain about it um, you know usually it's you know, it can be snowing and freezing cold too, so. You know, I don't like to complain when it's nice, hot, beautiful weather um, in the summertime. So we don't get that much of it here in PA, so. Anyway, anywho, as they say, it's been a hot and dry summer, but it got a little cooler last night down to about 60 some, low 60s, I think. So. Let's see if anybody's home. Look at that water, it's like glass. 
shoot the glass. So, let's see if anybody's up for the BX Menno here. Hey guys, I'm gonna throw, before I leave this area, I'm gonna throw the, I'm throwing a, love catch them on tubes. This time of year we usually do well on tubes. So, let's see if the old bleeding tube can get me on, get me going here. Water looks a little stained. Might have been a little panfish nipping at the skirt. Tree. All right, looks like I can finally get my first fish of the day here. It's a little dude hit the bleeding tube. <clears throat> That's all right. Got the skunk off the boat for me, which I appreciate. Easy guy. Easy little man. I'll get you back. Yep. All right, a little tiny dew, but that's okay. Always good to have the skunk off the boat. Oh, nice aerial show. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, man, you gave me a heck of a show there, buddy. Oh, man, you like that tube. Thank you. That's cool. See if anybody's home next to Mr. Barrel over there. Yeah, well, somebody is home next to Mr. Barrel. Oh, it was a better fish too. A little better. Oh, he's barely, barely hooked by just oh, just a little little nip there. Ah. Uh, all right, there's three bass on the tube. That guy was just on this side of the rock line. So, good stuff. That time I let the tube fall all the way down. I was a little more patient. I was looking around, not paying attention. So, super skills on that fish. I always like those ones where, you know, you're not remotely paying attention, you're daydreaming and um, fish on. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes we can say whatever we want, sometimes it's just damn luck. Honestly, it's just luck. You know, I mean, yeah, you can, you know, you gotta 
throw the right presentation and you know it's good to know obviously water temperature I mean, there's a million things going to fishing to improve your success and uh, you know some guys are better at it than others no question about it more experience and they're better with multiple lures multiple situations all those things uh, but sometimes it's just luck it's just what it is it's just pure shit ass luck and that's what makes it fun too thank goodness for that because you know I like to think I'm a good fisherman, but actually, you know, a lot of times it's just, I just get lucky. It's like everybody. All right, guys, I'm gonna put the tube down a little bit. I caught, uh, I think, three with it. But, uh, I'm gonna go with the old standby here recently. And, uh, I'm gonna throw a Sanko. Uh, this one's pegged, has a nail on it, um, rigged wacky. Again, same thing uh, that is new to the channel. I use monofilament, just, I don't know, I guess because I can cast it the best. So, 8 pound mono to 8 pound fluoro. Got a barrel swivel here um, to a small circle hook. I think that's a 2 aught little circle hook. And uh, I got it on my 6.9 medium light Veritas and um, paired up with a Fluger Patriarch. When I first cast over at this spot, this guy was up shallow and he smashed my Sanko. made it worth the trip to come over here. Uh, leave the camera on now, I won't get a hit. That's okay. There was a fish up there. A little dude. A little guy's around. Where's all their big brothers? Wow, somehow he threw off my Sanko. I don't know how you did that. No idea how you did that. You little Jasper. Alright guys, that fish broke off my... my or didn't break it off, he uh, somehow got the Sanko when he attacked it. So here's all I'm doing when I rig my Sanko. This is the Gary Yakamono uh, Custom Baits. This is my favorite. It's the five inch Yamasanko. <laughs> Didn't even know that. And then this is the Red Shad Laminate color. It seems to be the color that works the best for us. All right, so then anyway, I have one of these little fancy tools here. I don't know where I got this. And uh, it does make it easier to get the rubber band on here without kind of tearing up your Sanko. So you just shove this in here and we put that out there like that. And then your rubber band or whatever, your O-ring, it's, it's in the center. So then I use a little penny now to plug the end of it. That's a small, but a smaller one. That's good. And I put it in the thicker end. And I just, I just shove her on in there. And I like that because it almost, it gives it more diving action. Number one and number two. Then when it gets to the bottom, it almost, it'll sit like that down there, almost like a Ned rig. And even though I haven't really experimented too much with Ned rigs, um, it gives it that type of action. And then uh, I just, I'm just hooking this through. 
the rubber band or the o-ring and that's it and there she is all right I'm not gonna ban in this area see there I go wasn't paying attention I was moving the motor <laughs> And call a little pass. Oh man. There's another hit. Again, it was moving my pole, not paying attention. And this one's Probably my best fish of the day if I get him in. He felt pretty nice, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's hooked good. Look at him, he's hooked beautifully. Boy, you were, you'd be caught, my man. All right. Vans. There's one right next to the boat. <clears throat> I'm still throwing that uh, that Sanko. Easy partner. Boy, well, he's hooked good. Still throwing the Sanko. Easy, buddy. Get you back. You're bleeding a little bit, but you'll be okay. Oh man, it was fun. And uh, just caught a couple doing that. So keep doing that. Another hit in here. No, it's huge, but he's fun. A little thicker. This guy's a little thicker. A little thicker. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. I'm just throwing that out there and let it fall and uh, every once in a while I'll give it a, a couple little twitches that gets that worm to whoosh, 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 on the end when I hear that again whoosh, 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 whoosh. and then uh, that does the job alright guys <clears throat> put the camera back on in an area of the lake we call the Trinity it's because there used to be a tree right there that's fallen down into the water now. But between that, the bush in the middle, and what's known as Goose Island, um, there's usually some fish in here on both sides of the island. So before I throw over there, though, I want to throw one up to the base of that tree. And uh, I still have the Gary, the Takamono Sanko on. Shad laminate, rigged wacky, and uh, see if we can't pull a fish out of this area. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna just start fan cast as boom, boom, just work my way across. Um, There's a hit of a fish. 
I didn't get a very good hook set on him, so I'm gonna lose this guy. Stay down there. He feels pretty good. I might have him foul hook too. I don't know. Who knows? Ah, I got him. Oh yeah. Ah, I got him. Nice bass. Oh yeah. Classic hook set. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. He's hooked right where he's supposed to be. Oh man, that was nice. That was fun. Easy, buddy. Got him right in a chanute again. It's straight up hook set, does it every time. There he is. That Sanko pegged is doing the job. Fun. No big boys, but I don't care. It's probably about a dozen, maybe 13, I think. fish on this side of that island. I think he's a little dude, but he hit the Gary. Oh, he's a little goo. He's, oh. oh man, he gave me a nice little tug at the end. Thank you, buddy. Oh man, he gave me a nice little pull at the end. He was running towards the boat. A little chubbier dude. See ya, man. Oh, good stuff. And right now, the, sh the, the shad laminate is uh, doing the job. Somebody else after shad laminate. <laughs> oh man, all of a sudden. All of a sudden. The shad laminate's on fire. <laughs> I was getting ready to call it a day. And uh, <coughs> I thought I'd throw a few up by the dock. And this guy was up there. <laughs> ah, he was fun. Today's the day of the Sanko. Chad Laminate and Gary Yakamoto rig wacky. That's what worked today. And it works a lot. So uh, that's a bait you can pretty much count on. Sanka rigged wacky. It catches bass. No two ways about it. And uh, that was that was awesome so probably gonna wrap my video up here guys um, time to head for home it's getting a little warm oh getting another bump down here maybe not uh, time to head for home it's getting a little hot I see the boys are coming for their monthly their daily meeting so, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, I caught about, I don't know, a little over 15 bass, a lot of little ones. I don't care. It was a great time. Fish for a couple of hours. It's probably getting to be about 9.30. So, a couple, two, two, two and a half hours. And uh, had a great time. Like I said, today, 
I used for the most part these the Gary Yakamoto five inch Yamasanko. It's the shad laminate. Red la red shad laminate. That's the bait. If you haven't tried that color, definitely give it a shot. It works for me for sure. So that's gonna be it guys. Thanks for coming today. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And please leave those comments. I'm still not getting very many comments, but uh, love to hear from you guys what you're catching them on these days. Uh, any questions on the Pelican? Any questions on how I um, do anything, really? Uh, love to hear from any of you and share some fishing information. So please comment if you haven't. And that's going to be it. I'll see you next time on fishingwithvance.com. Bow down.